you mentioned it uh, quickly. Um, the the central banks. How do they think about uh, money? They want to keep it uh, the the inflation, or they want to keep the yeah. value as stable as possible. So, uh, exactly. yeah. How how do they do that? How do they think about these things? What are their uh, tools actually? Well, the tools used to be were called <coughs> OMOs, open uh, open monetary operations, open market operations. Uh, and it was basically buying and selling bonds. So, so essentially, if I sell a load of bonds into the market and people buy them, I'm draining money out of the system, right? If I'm doing the opposite, I'm putting money into the system. So quantitative easing, right, which we had in the financial crisis, was essentially I'm going to basically buy all the bonds and other assets I can and give you cash and hope that some of it trickles down and causes some growth. So they've got one tool, which is some version of buying and selling assets through monetary operations. The other one is raise and lower the price of money, the interest rate. And the way that they used to do this was, again, through trying to influence short-term credit market conditions through liquidity, etc. Now they just pay interest on reserves. In other words, if you're a big bank and you've got lots of money, why bother lending to people to get 2% real if the inflation rate's 3%, right? Uh, we'll just give you 2.5% at the central bank. You just park all your cash at the central bank. We've just drained liquidity from the system. There's less liquidity in the system. Guess what? Interest rates are going to go up. So they're all indirect tools. Like they don't go out and press a button on a computer and it goes for like 1.5%, right? There's not that degree of control. But that's basically the tools that they use. Um, are they any good at what they do? 